Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Sophie, you didn't go all the way around the car because nobody was in the car. And I forgot. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, we used to honk the horn every time Sophie would walk in front of the car. And so now she always walks far around the car so we don't honk the horn at her. And she was so proud of herself because she didn't do that today, but today can, nobody can was in the car. Can I honk again? No. We'll honk with the car off. Yeah, try it. Wait until he gets close. Wait. Wait. Okay, go. <laughs> that was funny. I was laughing so hard, I don't even know if I got your excuse. <laughs> I don't think I don't. You, you went like this. <gasps> he went like. <gasps> that was funny. We're awful people. No. Now. <laughs> smiling okay come on tell the truth does it make you laugh that we torture our children like this sophie tortures them we have to stop at the store really quick because i'm my blood sugar is low and i like going into the store even more now because i'm asked you can tell when my blood sugar is low because i talk really fast i went to pick up shavings today at the farm that her husband had a heart attack so they decided to sell everything except the farm so i asked what the farm and and she said if the horse doesn't get on a trailer, don't buy the horse. Really? Yeah. She said if you get a, go to get a horse and if it doesn't fit on a, if it doesn't want to go on the trailer, don't take it home with you. Wow. We should... That's what she told me. So, anyways, did you end up seeing a horse there that you thought was? I saw they had a Connemara horse, but uh, it's too small for so. So tell them about the horse that you did see. But there was a horse there that was really beautiful. It was like a brown beige color jumper type and uh, it was sold just as I was coming in there. Yeah and Sam thought that that horse would have been perfect for Sophie. Yeah, it would have been perfect. We're never going to find the exact perfect horse but we're going to take time to figure out what exactly we want because we don't know exactly what we want. I give Sophie my bank card and she does all the shopping for us. Yeah I do. Horses can have peanut butter right? I think so. Horses can have peanut butter? Horse? Tino's like oh, I want more peanut butter. <laughs> He yeah, is. He just tried to eat a <laughs> so. Can actually horses have peanut butter? I don't see why not. Now we're just eating peanut butter pudding. Because apparently Chino was in love with peanut butter. I swear to God, Gabby comes into the arena. Yeah. We need we need to get rid of the beer belly. The beer belly has got to go. She's mimicking Brandon. You're mimicking Brandon? Yes. <laughs> not riding with Lake. <laughs> she thinks you stole that from her, Brandon. <laughs> no right leg. So it's Chino's, it's Chino's turn today again because Chino will be needing to lose some of that belly. So uh, Gabby had a ride. She rode Chino to help him get his belly down. And we came specifically to switch them to winter blankets again, you guys. It's getting it's cold snowing. again. So, Chino Bambino is, this is Storms, and Chino, ugh, and Finn. We got every blanket you can imagine in here. So, Gabby left uh, the peanut butter cookie, the less leftover peanut butter cookie for her other horse, because, you know, you gotta be kind, and little Thumper came to eat it. It's picking up, you guys, the freezing cold. He oh, he slept. He's got dirt on him. Oh, hi. He knows we got carrots. Listen, get your blanket switched over. Get your blanket switched over, and we will give you a carrot. Can you make him stand? Yeah, here. Stand. Look. He's like, I know you guys have carrots. Oh, look at you. Look at you. Look at you. He's like, I already got mine. We are changing blankets because it's going to be cold for the next few days. No, All right. I have to keep Chino distracted. Don't let anybody run away. <laughs> uh oh. 
It's getting scary. This is what you call. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing to me now? Isn't he so much more relaxed though? <laughs> Okay, stay here with me, Finn. I got treats for you. Oh, oh my gosh. This is how not to put blankets on horses. You know. Gabby's got it going on good though. They all can smell the carrots. I just must smell like one big carrot. Uh oh. Help! <laughs> I'm not doing anything. Hi. Oh my goodness. Oh, we'll be back in the morning. He will bite your butt. <laughs> he will bite your butt. <laughs> Chino, leave her alone. <laughs> why, Chino? Why? All right, Finn, wait, wait till Gabby's done. There will be no handing out of carrots until Gabby's done. Here, give me, give me the carrot. All right, here. Here, leave it. Leave it. <laughs> It's a good thing we brought three. <laughs> uh oh. Wait, back it up. <laughs> this is just funny, but I like that. I love when they use a hay bag on our hay on their hay because man. That was Chino. Chino is getting fat. Here, give your horse a carrot. That was Chino. Give your horse a carrot. That was Chino. I already gave him a cookie. You already had a cookie. Did you give him a peanut butter cookie? Yeah. Did he like it? Oh. All right, Gabby, get, get, get off the hay bale. Oh. Sophie, get off the hay bale. I'm on the hay feeder. <sighs> that moment you leave the field and all the horses want to come. Bye, boys. We'll be back. She knows. Like, oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> Look how tired he looks. We have to go do Storm's blanket too. All right, <laughs> boy. Bye, boy. Hey, Storm, we put Storm Blanky on. Which is a bit of a pain with his brother here. All right, see you, Storm. Storm is standing in the field, just yawning. <laughs> and all the treats I gave him. We switched to the blanket. Like, horses are so much drama. Horses are so much drama. Like, everywhere we go, everybody agrees. Horse people are crazy. Like, out of all that, my sister is an animal control officer. I told you guys that before and she also was the manager of the Humane Society for a lot of years and she has always said out of like all the animal people like the dog people the cat people you know how people say crazy cat people well out of all the people horse people are the craziest and other people have said that too like people always say horse people are the craziest and I get it now though, like horses are so dramatic and so, there's just so much drama with horses. So much drama. We're going home for water, sister. That's why you gotta learn to bring water with you. Well, dad was gonna get me water, but you forgot. Oh. Well, anyways, so there, so even just like putting the blankets on the field, yes, we could have done it better. We could have brought each horse out, did one at a time. We could have brought them into the barn, but we we're trying to save time, trying to save energy, because it's freezing cold outside. We knew we could do it, and we did do it. But the drama, the drama of it. I don't know if you guys got to see Sam and Gabby trying to put on Storm's blanket, but I feel like they were worse off than when we tried to put on our boys' blankets. Oh. So these are the shavings that Sam picked up today. They were on sale. Five a buck a bag. Where we live, they're like eight bucks a bag or seven bucks a bag. So he got like a good deal on them, and he wanted more. We wanted more, but the lady already sold them all. We just got home from the barn, and we have a busy day at the barn tomorrow as well. And, whew, it's cold, you guys. It's starting to get really cold, that's why we, oh. <laughs> the girls have been in the arena today, I noticed. Did you guys see her just try and open that door? She knows how it happens. She knows how it works. Hi, Princess Penny. Oh. Be nice. I just brought you guys carrots. You share? Let me give Gracie one. Poor Gracie. It's 
blanket got caught on her. I think this is the very first time ever we've ever had that happen. Here we go. Holy heck, that was scary there for a minute. She broke it. She got a rip in it. Are you okay? Come here. Come on. Yeah, she seems okay. Yeah, good girl. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that happened to you. I called your owner. She's coming to help you with your blanket. It's so cold. Today is not the day that you want to run out of blankets. It's okay. See? You can see the mark on her. We drove in, and I came down to make sure she was okay, and her blanket was caught around her ankle. That's the first time we've ever come home and seen something like that. It was not even a big deal. Her blanket was twisted on her side and falling off, and then she stepped on it and got a little hole. So nothing bad, but still, like, we just always look down at the barn when we come home or when we leave. Hold on. Yes, I know, the mean horse is behind me. So she has this little hole, I'm gonna cut it off even though I love this blanket because I don't want her to get her foot caught. All right, there we go. You're fixed, Gracie girl, all fixed. <laughs> it's okay, see I had to cut that little piece off there. I was super worried about her getting her leg caught in that little hole. Like it is crazy to me how fast something so small and something so unavoidable, like you can't help it, you can't know like if a blanket it's gonna like slip to the side or whatever. Like, just shocking how fast things can change and you could end up with a disaster on your hands. Like, holy heck, man. If we didn't look down at the barn every time we came home, and so all I saw was her blanket like slip to the side. So I came down and saw that she had this big hole and she could have got her foot caught right in it. Like, scary guys, horses are scary. Dramatic and scary. That's why I fit them so well. <laughs> Don't you know that